Be gone, ye witch, with ye witch magic. May ye burn for ye sins. Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad. Today we are at SeaWorld San Diego because you guessed it, we are at Howl O Scream opening day here in San Diego for Howl O Scream. I don't know what to expect, but I can tell you firsthand that this is not a kid friendly event. So if you have small children watching at home, I would advise that you turn it off and wait till they're in bed because this event is going to be really scary. At least that's the intent. It is 13 and up is the recommended age range here. Uh, and so I have no idea what to expect and I'm excited for it. So let's get going. All right, we are coming into the back area here, which is where I guess they're having the pop and party. There's not a whole lot going on just right now uh, because it's very early yet. Of course, it's very loud as well. All right, now that it's a little quieter, Amy put on uh, the t-shirt that they gave us. They gave us a t-shirt, which is really awesome and fun. They also gave us this little like doodad gizmo here. Um, I'm trying to get him focused, but um, yeah, it's not really working there. But uh, yeah, they gave us that. And then uh, do you want to show the, we have a map. And uh, they gave us a front of the line pass, so and they said uh, it's for fun. three hundred houses and three rides. Yep, uh, that's there's only three houses, oh, so I that's I how it works. That works. And um, yeah, we're excited. Well, Amy's I'm less not. excited. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. Well, we're in here a few minutes early, and of course, nothing has started yet. We're just yeah, Amy's excited about that. Uh, of course, the sun's gonna come down. It's gonna get darker. It's gonna get scarier. Well, it looks like we found uh, some of the Hallow Scream decorations, and of course they, they said we can't go down there just yet, but that's because again it hasn't started. Can't wait. So in our media preview event, they allow us to come and try out some food. Uh, I imagine this is the food that you can purchase throughout the park. They just have samples for us to take. So we have a slider here, some roasted potatoes. It looks like a, a piece of meat. Over here we have a carrot some sort of ball that I don't know what it is. Um, Amy put sauce on hers. And then we have a green mac and cheese, which is of course, you know, very spooky and creepy like. So Amy's gonna actually go ahead and try that green mac and cheese. Hmm, I was wondering, I think the um, dusting on top, I'm wondering if that's hot Cheetos because it's got a slight little kick, kick to, to it. it. Slight, but it's not very strong, but it's good. Does it taste like regular mac and cheese despite uh, it being green? Yeah, it's, but it's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> and watch out. Hi, Johnny! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh my goodness, welcome to SeaWorld! <laughs> That's a steel nail. Sharp on one end, dull on the other. Kinda like this conversation. <laughs> Kids, don't do this at home. Go to your neighbor's house. I'm sure they have insurance. <laughs> okay, so I just cut into this ball of, I have no idea what it is, but it is bright pink. Like, not even slightly pink, it is bright pink, so. And I have no idea what I'm eating. Is it good? It's good. And so, I bit into my hamburger, just expecting, oh, it's a hamburger, and there's like, I don't even know what it is, but it's like, oh, I think it's cheese. It's like colored, red colored cheese, but it, I was not expecting that. It freaked that. her out. Yes, it freaked me she, out. She jumped and screamed before we even got into the screaming part. It's like, I'm not off to a good start <laughs> with this. All right, so we have some giant cake thing that I am not hungry enough to eat, come but, back for that. Uh, but I am gonna get one of these little parfait cups. Yeah, we can come in here uh, basically from now till like eight o'clock. So we might come back, but there's also this like- Cannolis. Oh, cannolis. So they have little cannolis as well. I imagine this is gonna be a lot scarier looking once it's dark. So the random scary workers just walking through the park even though it's not dark yet. 
um, kind of like takes away some of the surprise and the scare of it. I will say that. That's just, they're going to work right now. <laughs> well, we're about 20 minutes away from the actual start of the festivities here. Of course, it's not very dark yet, but we're getting some fog. <laughs> Minutes before the haunted house is open, we have the nightmare experiment over here, right next to the DJ center. You see the line lining up for it already. There is a secondary line for food that is forming over here off to the right. And then we have the DJ who's up there on the stage doing his thing. Still early yet, but we say that this is going to be the happening spot once it gets dark. Welcome, my bloody pumping puppets, to a little circus of terror. I just know you're going. sign up here says no cameras photos or videos but I'm pretty sure that applies to non-media um, so yes I did just verify that uh, media is allowed to film so we'll be filming inside um, but there is no filming for regular people all right we're going in this is hello good evening you are live 724 patients come on in hi how are you hello, hello. I have a question for you huh you what's your name Amy Amy the paperwork, Amy. No, you get it, Amy. I don't have the paperwork, Amy. You're gonna go see my psychologist now. <laughs> I love it. What are you guys doing out of your room? I have something special planned for all of you guys. If you're good, you end up like her.
there someone in there? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I don't. Well, first haunted house is done, and I noticed that there was a lot of automated things in there. Of course, they had some people that were jumping out at you. Uh, some people were better at their job than others. Some, you could tell, they were just kind of drafted from maybe SeaWorld staff because they didn't really have uh, enough people to do it. Um, but the people that were really into it, like the, a couple of people got me pretty good. Uh, some of the automated things even got me just because they jump out at you or the lights come on. <laughs> I was totally fine. Uh, besides a few like startling moments, I wasn't scared at all. Uh, it's, it's pretty tame as far as I can tell. We are walking through one of the scare zones coming up here. I'm not quite sure what to expect from scare zones here at SeaWorld San Diego or Howl O Scream. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was good. I, I, I really want to just stand here and, and wait for... Uh... What be this strange device you have? Be gone, ye witch, with ye witch magic. May ye burn for ye sins. So I've noticed that the fog machines aren't on at full tilt. In fact, this one behind me just turned on, so it's not getting super foggy through here. Of course, uh, there is fog, and uh, you can see that coming out right now. I think this is a roaming hunt right here. Where you going, pretty boy? <laughs> I keep trying to get someone like getting scared. I'm <laughs> 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 gonna take a picture of me and not get in it. What is this? Paparazzi? We're outside Electric Eel, and I think we're entering another scare zone here. This actually looks. Whoa, I just heard a scream. I think it might be worker screams. Opening night jitters over Death Water Bayou. They really can't figure out what they were doing. All these people in line are actually in the, the Fast Pass line and they don't have Fast Pass, which was really confusing the people with Fast Pass. So now, while they deal with that mess, we're gonna head over here to this other haunted house, Simon's Slaughterhouse. Here we go. Okay. 
Here we go. Nice knowing you all. Nice knowing you. Hey, COVID test. I smell sawdust. I'm still going. Finally, <laughs> we are here. <laughs> strobe lights here are really throwing me for a loop. Like, really. The strobe lights are... Another one done. <laughs> I thought it was done. Simon Screamatorium. 
So we got another food station over here. Hanging out here with Chris and Allie from Park Swap. They've been going around these haunted houses with us. What did you guys think of Simon's Slaughterhouse? It was, you know, it's my first ever maze, so I have nothing to compare it to, but it was a lot of fun. I, I liked it. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> it was exactly what I did not want, and I loved it. Well, you got two more to go, and there's a lot of roaming haunts and things that are really, really fun. I'm actually having a really great time here tonight. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to feel. I thought but... I'd be horrified. I, I didn't. <laughs> exactly. Got exactly. the right mindset. We're, we're all excited now. So but we're having good. fun. We're hyped up. All right, let's get going. Hey, yeah. All right, we're going in the Hollow Scream shop here. This is actually really, really cool. I like the theme in here. <laughs> they even have a, a scary guy in here. This is actually really awesome, like themed really well. That's right away, we guys gotta stay pretty there. <laughs> Need some fresh meats. I'll take one of you. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> that street person just walked out of her. You can't even see that person. One of our concerns coming here to Hollow Scream tonight <laughs> was that a lot of the, the workers here weren't going to be that like dedicated to compared to some of the other like you know um, haunted stuff that's been going on like not scary farm and that sort of thing but I've actually been really really impressed with the the level of energy that a lot of these people are putting into it some of the haunted houses have had some lackluster people um, but for the most part all the roaming ones are really really good at their job <laughs> There's like a dollhouse over here. Yeah, I know. Ah! <laughs> Why are they targeting me? <laughs> Hi! Hi. Can you fix me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to fix you, I'm sorry. That makes me angry! Uh -oh. <laughs> Honestly, I think they're targeting the ladies on purpose. <laughs> but look at this. <laughs> so we're not in a scare zone right here at the moment, but there is nobody really towards the back of the park. They do have areas blocked off that you can't go. Uh, so that goes back towards like the Sea Lion Amphitheater. It's blocked off. They're pushing us up this way. Uh, looks like the characters are still out and open. Uh, they're doing scary, spooky characters by the looks of it. Uh, some other things, some henna tattoos. So they have some booths that are still open back here, uh, but we're gonna head down this way now, hopefully find another scare zone back this way behind the uh, sky tower. I think this is a scare zone. Based on the people, I would agree. Yeah. Have you guys been by Molly? Are you his mommy? Go. All right, well now we're coming to ride Manta in the dark. This is gonna be super fun. I mean, I'm sure you can enjoy this experience even like during the year uh, when it's like Christmas time because it gets dark at five o'clock. But this will be the first time I've ever ridden Manta in the dark. So I'm, I'm excited. It's like, I don't know if Creepy Lady's gonna do anything different this time. Ah! One of the shows that go on here during Hollow Scream, I'm not exactly positive of the times, check the SeaWorld calendar, uh, but over here in front of the Sky Tower is Beta 7, and it's like a rock band type show. Uh, of course, it's not going on right now, but uh, it's over here, and you should check it out if you really like live bands. So this is the park entrance, and supposedly this is another one of those scare zones. So of course, you got this big skull here off to our right. Let's see if I can get a better look at it in just a minute. But we have creepy music here. Hey, 
So I'm going through the light tunnel, and of course I gotta film this because this is my absolute favorite part of coming to SeaWorld ever in the evening. <laughs> I just love it. We have one haunted house left to do, Death Water Bayou. We're heading there right now. It's over by Wild Arctic. <laughs> ah! Come on over here to Electric Hill. It says the wait time is 20 minutes. So I just rode electric eel in the dark. It was amazing. At this point, I feel immune to screaming because there's been so much of it that I'm just desensitized to moaning or screaming. It's moaning myrtle, moaning myrtle. So coming over here to Wild Arctic, which is by Deathwater Bayou, there is absolutely nobody in line over there, really. So much so, in fact, I think it's what's happening is that everyone started at Nightmare Experiment, moved on to Deathwater Bayou, then on to Simon Slaughterhouse. You're better off like going the opposite way or coming later because, I mean, check this out. I mean, just, this is it. This is the only line, basically, for Deathwater Bayou now. The glowing necklace that she's got over there is a no scare pass, so you can get that and people won't jump out at you and scare you. Squishy. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Whoa. This is a creepy room. Oh, I hate these. They're so creepy. <laughs> it looks like an ocean. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're the real one. <laughs> Thing. Thank you. It's a night shift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, final haunted house, and in my opinion, nightmare experiment still the scariest. But that one had some pretty good points. Actually, there were a lot of moments that I noticed in the house that had holes where people could be, but they weren't. So I wonder if they like rotate so that if you go through it again, you know, you're surprised because they're they jump out at different spots. Amy's like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just, I'm totally still fine. I'm like, I, I'm immune to your jumping. But well, we're back where we started. Here at the DJ area, because we're going to go through Nightmare Experiment again one more time. I actually thought there'd be more people here just hanging out, you know, enjoying the DJ party. Whenever it was uh, Electric Ocean, this was probably the most popular place where all the people were, but most of the people are actually just in haunted houses, which I suppose makes a lot more sense. Chris is over here dancing on the beat. <laughs> so we're back here by Nightmare Experiment. We're gonna go through it again to see if it's any different a second time through. It's about 9.30 at night and the line is about half of what it was earlier, but still quite long for this one. blast I certainly did I had way more fun than I was expecting to and you know some of it was really scary caused startling jumps others of it, it was not as bad as I expected so if you're looking to come to hollow scream for the frights or just for a hopping good time come and check it out SeaWorld San Diego hollow scream an absolute blast thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this one of SeaWorld San Diego and other Southern California theme parks like Disneyland Legoland and the San Diego Zoo go ahead and hit that like and a subscribe button and we will see you again next time Thank you.